Hey everybody, welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So I'm in the menu right now because we're right outside the doorway to the spike breaker. So we're gonna equip, or to the, the spikes that we need the spike breaker armor for. So this is why you need it, because it just destroys spikes. And you can't pass through, well I think you could pass through that with the mist if you wanted, but this door at the end, if you don't have the spike breaker armor, you can't, armor, you can't actually enter it, so and we're gonna head head up here and meet with Maria, actually. So. Alucard, have you seen Richter? There is a Belmont here. You are right about that. I knew it. Where is he? <laughs> I the one knew I it. <laughs> was with the enemy. He called himself the Lord of this castle. What? Th that's impossible. You're wrong. I have to go. All right, I won't stop you. Maria's voice is adorable in this game. I mean, she is very young still, but I did like her kind of like more adult voice in the original PSX version. Um, I know I've said that before, but um, I also made the mistake in episode four, I think, of this this uh, series, saying that Maria was, or that Richter was Maria's brother, but that is not true. In fact, um, he saved her in Rondo of Blood, and she was just like a a little girl, I think she was like 12 or something in that game, um, but really powerful mage. But she was captured by Dracula, so it's not quite the same thing. Um, so now that we have the rings, we need to head to the middle section of the castle uh, where the marble gallery is. So we're going to head through the Colosseum again because it's the fastest way to get there. Uh, I think that's the save point. We need to head this way first. Yeah, that's right. We need to do this way, which leads us down here, which is the Colosseum, yeah. So I played this game so many times, I remember like most of the map as it is. There was a few times, like even when, like the first couple times I played this game, um, I would like still get lost really easily. It was really quite weird. Um, oh yeah, I could probably skip through this section here. I'm just going to try backdashing a lot more, you know, to get a little bit quicker. Um, but, like, I would still get lost every so often, like, be like, well, shit, now I have the double jump, like, where do I go again, like, and then I would always go to, like, the clock tower, and then it'd just lead me to the, the higher part of the castle keep, where Richter awaits, and I was like, but no, that's not where I need to go, and then I'd be like, oh, right, I'm supposed to go to Ol Olrox's chamber, and, you know, grab the the bat form, or no, the mist form, to like, because it leads me to the Colosseum is where I, I grab the mist. And then I have to go back to the library to grab the bat form, and then I was like, now I can explore everywhere I need to go, which is really cool. It just, uh, I like when the bat, the fact that the when the bat form, you get it, you can just go like so many different places and find like so many things you couldn't find before. So you can get lost really easily in all of it, but, uh, oh, we need the clock for this, though, so I'm gonna have to go a little bit further. I forgot that I have to equip the, the rings and the clock, so... Thankfully, the clock is not too far away. Like, I think it's literally in the next room here, which is pretty awesome, so... Or not. Okay, it might be the next room after that. Okay. That's weird. I've gotten two morning sets in one play state or er, in one play session of this game from those Ouija tables. Because that's like their rare drop, and usually it takes like way longer. There it is, there's the clock. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to equip those rings right now. Uh, so it says, what is it here? It's, uh, the gold ring says, wear clock in room. It doesn't even say what room, it's just like, what room? So like, it was really crazy trying to figure that out, and uh, I noticed that there was always like an... Like the first time I played this game, I always noticed that there was a... A little section in that room, so I kind of figured that was what they were going with. It's really crazy. In fact, um, I think I might have had a little bit of help from a magazine called EGM, which I think is still around today, but I actually found the... Oh yeah, here we go, so it opens this up. But uh, I actually found the magazine issue that has all the stuff that he used for this game, like to figure out how to get the inverted castle, because I don't think I figured this out on my own, actually. I'm fairly certain I used that magazine. 
It was to the point where I was like, I think I've discovered everything in this game, but I feel like I'm still missing something, and then I needed to look something up. And then that was the point where I found this magazine back in the, the 90s. And just like a couple years ago, we used to have a, a used game store in in the city of Moose Jaw. Like, unfortunately, they shut down because there just was no business here. Um, yes, I kind of just give away what city I live in, but whatever. I think I've done that in other episodes. But, uh... I live in Canada, too, by the way. I should say that. <laughs> but, um... They, they had a bunch of magazines and, like, player's guides and all that stuff, and... I found the the magazine that had all that information, and I was like, oh shit, like, it's $2, like, why would I not want to, you know, buy it for $2, like, it brings back so, such good memories, it's about my favorite game of all time, so... Alucard? Oh yeah, here we go, so we got oh, voice. this confrontation Maria? with Maria. I'm sorry, you were right, he is with the enemy. Richter Belmont, in league with Dracula. He must be under someone else's control. Of we course can't he hurt is. Him, whatever we do. But he must be stopped. Yes, but can you? Then for all our sakes, show me that you will. Yeah, so this is cool. So this version it, Oh god, that did a lot of damage. Is the only uh version of the game I think where you actually fight Maria. Other than maybe like the Saturn version, but you know, nobody talks about that version because it sucks. <laughs> Like, I've never played the Saturn version myself, and I know it comes with, like, a bunch of, like, cool... Oh, God. Ow. No! Why did I do that? Oh, no! Oh, no! I forgot I had the library card equipped still. Oh, shit! Okay, that was stupid. I can't believe I did that. Okay, well, I'm gonna make my way back there, and I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Alright, sorry guys, so... I'm waiting my, way, waiting my way back. <laughs> that was, like, probably the stupidest thing I've ever fucking done on my channel, like, ever. Oh my god. So this is cool, like, it's kind of neat, like, seeing Maria in this game, because she has all of her moves from Rondo of Blood. Like, all of her special attacks, like summoning the cat, and the dragon, and the phoenix, and all that stuff. I made sure I unequipped the, uh, and the, and the little owl, too, which is just her normal attack, but, um, I'm glad I unequipped it. Oh, that thing! Right, that was a special move she could do that just, just decimated bosses. It was very cool. Ah, she has a lot of health. There we go, perfect. Beat her. You're stronger than I am. I've you almost probably beat her in the first battle, and then I tried to block. Please? <laughs> I can't that was so that, stupid. I will stop him. If it must be that way, here. I found these. Take them. I I found them. And these are. <laughs> if you don't put them, them on, they'll kill you. <laughs> delusions. Thank you. I go to find Richter. Stay and pray for him. Hell yeah, man! Just whooped up a girl. I feel so horrible. It's so cool that like this version of the game has a Maria mode too, like. She's probably, like, easy mode. Like, she was in Rondo of Blood. Like, she's just... Makes the game, like, super easy. Which I find really hilarious. Because she has, like, a double jump and, like, all this stuff that Richter doesn't have. Richter has a lot more moves in this game than he did in, uh... In Rondo of Blood. Like, his whip, like, you can actually hold it down and, like, swing it around and stuff like that in this game. Which is cool. And it would have been super useful in freaking. Rondo of Blood, but no, they didn't, you know, do that, and it's, like, really annoying. I really want this- yeah, okay, thank you. I was like, I really want this doorway to open so I can just go in here, because, like, the, the teleporter to where I need to get to, to get to Richter is, a uh, much faster- oh, I should probably equip the walk armor again. There we go. Um, it's much faster to go this way, and we're gonna hit- equip the holy glasses, too, just because- might as well, because we need them. So that she is right that they let you show past illusions, because we will see the orb, or the control that uh, Shaft has over Richter, and uh, that'll lead us into getting to the inverted castle, so that way we can get the better ending. Um, there is, like, multiple endings to this game. It's really quite cool. Like, if you have a 200 and... 
I think it's, if it's over 200%, you get the best ending of the game, where um, Alucard goes back to sleep and Maria follows him. And it's interesting because that part of the story um, never ever came up again. Like, we never know if Maria actually like followed Alucard, if she found him. Or anything like that. Um, we do know that Alucard appears in Aria of Sorrow as a Genya Arakado, I think. He like takes a different personality, or like a, he pretends that he's somebody else, basically. And I, I think in Dawn of Sorrow, you actually got to play like as Alucard in that game, like in a bonus mode when she beat it, which is really cool. And I I think there was also a mode to play as Julius Belmont, which is by far one of the coolest Belmonts. Mostly because he, like, actually defeated Dracula by, like, putting the, uh, the castle in a solar eclipse. Which is really an interesting idea, if you think about it. I was just like, that's really cool. There we go, perfect. So just speed up there. So there's pretty much no way I can lose this battle, so I'm not really gonna save. It's not really that difficult anyway. I think he does like a fair amount of damage to me, but it should be pretty easy to deal with. Here we go. The good old waiting. room that, you know, Richter Answer fought me. Dracula in. Why is a Belmont planning to resurrect Count Dracula? Dracula rises once a century. One chance for each Belmont to shine. And then we're finished. Forgotten. If I bring him back now, the battle can last for eternity. You have lost your way. So be it, Vampire Hunter. Let your battle begin with me. Yeah. There we go. He'll use this, and we can just use the mist form to avoid damage from that, which is really cool. It's the only way you can avoid damage. So we have to destroy this big fucking orb here. Well, I guess it's not a big orb, but it's green. <laughs> wow, he's doing a lot of damage to me. I gotta be really careful. I also gotta be careful not to kill him, too, which is- Oh, there we go. Perfect. Really easy. How inconvenient. But we've only just begun. <laughs> the Shaft! <laughs> what the fuck do they call him Shaft? It's such a stupid name. You could say Richter was playing with his Shaft. Oh, shit! That was a horrible joke. I apologize. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. This version keeps all, like, the shitty CG from the PlayStation version, too. So we, like... Like, the Xbox... 360 version of this game removed all this shit, and I hate that about it. Because it's what's so uh, endearing about it. But yeah, this fucking castle just appears out of the sky, and it's like, what? <laughs> like, how does that make sense? It's like all upside down and shit. So fucking weird. Like, look at that terrible polygon work. Like, that is, that is easily, like, 1997 fucking uh, polygons. Like, it's crazy. No. It's like Final Fantasy VII. What have I done? <laughs> you saved him, Alucard. Thank you so much. Like, Richter actually actually Alucard? sounds like genuinely upset that he did that. that was over 300 yeah, 300 years, years. That's what it was. It wasn't 100 years. It was 300 years. It's crazy. the man who controlled you in that castle? Yes, I think so. Maria, take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Good luck. I love the fact that there's like, well, Richter could help us now, but Alucard's like, no, I'm a fucking boss. I'm just gonna destroy uh, my father by myself. He doesn't need any help at all. He's like, I got RPG mechanics behind me this time. <laughs> so I can power myself up even more. Make this super easy. I'm gonna keep the axe though, because the axe is very useful. Gain back some of the uh, stuff that I lost by using the axe in the last battle. This is cool. I don't know if this section opens up here if you didn't open it in the original castle, but we got a lot of power-ups down here, which is awesome, so now I can heal myself. I don't really, like, care for the, uh... I think the Royal Club's better. Yeah, it's also blue. I like the look of this. It's really cool. Until we get dra uh, the uh, Twilight Cloak, which is the one we start off the game with, which is really awesome. I should try and get the uh, Alucard Shield as soon as possible. We need to go to the, um, what is it, the uh, 
the water section, though, again. Um, what the hell? Oh, yeah, I grabbed a new sword. Okay, yeah, so we need the bastard swords because it's actually better than the uh, ice brand. I knew it was going to be. I just couldn't remember how much better it was. And holy shit, is it good. <laughs> um, but yeah, we should go grab that right away. Or I could grab the chrysogram, but um, the, for the chrysogram, I'm probably going to need to grab the rings of arcana because the... Uh, the drop weight for it is really, really low, because it is, like, easily the best weapon in the game, so... Um, it, like, it just shreds through enemies. Like, I actually got it, like... the When I started this channel, I actually did a playthrough of this game, and it was, like, one of the... the first games I ever played, and one of the first games I ever beat, and, uh... It was really awesome, um, but I, I feel like those videos didn't hold up, hold up well enough, um... So that's why I wanted to redo them in this, uh, in this sense, like, with how the videos are now, because I have, I think I've grown a lot better at commentary over the course of this, uh, the time I've been doing YouTube in, like, the, the almost three, I think it's been three years now, which is crazy. So, yeah, it's been, uh, been a journey, but, uh, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. This is gonna be a little bit shorter than the last few episodes, because now we've made our way all the way to into the inverted castle, and we got a lot more to explore. Like we got this whole map open for us right now, which is just insane. And we can go anywhere we want, but there are sections that you really shouldn't because the game will kick your ass. Like this is this is where the game actually can be difficult if you don't know where to go and what to what weapons and stuff to find first, because um, the enemies are very strong and can destroy you within a matter of seconds if you're not careful so i think we're gonna head through probably the royal chapel and that'll lead us to the uh the mummy which we can take down super easily that boss is a joke um asmodan i think his name is um and he'll give us a piece of uh dracula's uh a piece of dracula that we need to actually fight him and then um I think we can head to the Marble Gallery from there and into a few other sections where we can fight bosses and all that stuff too. But yeah, we got a long, long way to go and I hope to see you guys there on that journey. I hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, please hit subscribe for more Castlevania Symphony of the Night every Monday until I'm finished the game. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day as always. Bye-bye.